Are you ready for some crock pottery here on Death by Bungie? We have the crock pot all warmed up. It's almost been on for a full eight hours. I got up early this morning. I cleaned up a couple of roasts here left over from Marilyn Doe's three and four. Got them out here, cleaned them all up, got them ready to go and put them in the crock pot. First little tip I've got for you is make sure you rinse your meat first. You get that out of the freezer, it's in the packages, cut those packages open and rinse them out good in the sink. Get all the blood and debris off of them, clean them up real nice. Even, I went to a place down in Maryland for these deer, they did a great job, I have no complaints whatsoever, but cleaning them up a little bit, washing them first, really helps clean up the flavor and make sure you get nothing but the best for you and your family. Do that. Also, I would suggest when you get them all done, all cleaned up, all rinsed and everything, get them on a cutting board, go through with a nice sharp knife and carefully cut away anything that is not venison. You want to cut away all the ligaments, all the connective tissue, all the silver skin, all of that has to go. Leave as much of it to be just wild game as possible. Now, you can get rid of all of it, especially on these little roasts, for example. These roasts are, uh, they have connective tissue in between them, and if you start cutting all that out of there before you know it, you're going to end up with just a whole bunch of chunked up meat and stew meat and that sort of thing. Don't worry about doing that. On the roast, a little bit of that in there, that will break down in the cooking process, but really, on the exterior of the meat, the more of that connective tissue and silver skin and fat that you remove, the better. Once you got the meat all cleaned up, what do you do next? You put it in the crock pot. To do that and make sure you have nothing but the smoothest process overall, you're going to make sure you take some spray and spray the inside of that crock pot. Now there are some liners you can put on your crock pot, that sort of thing, to make the cleanup process a lot easier. But spraying it, in my experience, makes it work really smooth. We have a crock pot where you can remove the inner part of the crock pot, the ceramic pot, put that in the sink, wash it up good, no problems there. Spraying it makes the whole process a lot easier. Once you have the crock pot all lubed up good, you are ready to put your row asts right there in the crock pot. Stick them in there and you're ready to start adding the ingredients. We doubled up this recipe because it's two roasts, right? So basically it's double, but you're going to use for your typical recipe with one roast, you're going to use one package of the ranch dip mix, one package of a beef au jus gravy mix. Combine those, shake them up good, stir them together sprinkle those, spread that all over the top of the meat. Then you're gonna put the entire jar of pepperoncini peppers in there, juice and everything. I poured the whole thing in there, makes a nice gravy around the, the roasts and it'll sort of start to help combine that mix with that. Okay, the flavorings and all the seasonings that we added. And the last thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take an entire stick of butter and place that on top of the roast. Now, you're thinking, oh, a stick of butter, aren't we supposed to avoid butter? There's too much fat, it's not, healthy, blah, blah, blah. That's not the point. The point is this. You're using very healthy, lean venison, very healthy, lean meat for this recipe. One thing that this lacks, that venison lacks, to help improve the flavor, give you the overall flavor that you require in a really good meal, is fat. One healthy, quick way to add a whole bunch of fat to a meal is butter. It's going to add not just the fat that your palate craves that you really need to make that meal tasty, but it's really going to improve the overall flavor of the meal. I always look for a way when I'm cooking with venison, find a way to add fat. Like when I make tacos, you have the lean ground venison. Put all your seasonings in that, but if you add a nice fatty cheese to that, it makes a really good taco. So you're always looking for a way to add fat to venison. Some people add that right to the meat, right? Some people grind the venison in with pork. I don't do that because I kind of look at venison as an ingredient and that's just the way I cook. That's the way I have this in my head. That's all that is. So typically I won't add that because I don't want to be able to not take it out later. I want to be able to just add it later if I wanted to. If I wanted to do that because I thought a recipe called for that, I would do it. Now, two roasts here, that's going to make an awful lot of product here. Two sticks of butter, two packages of ranch dip, two packages of the beef gravy. We're going to end up with an awful lot of it here, but this is the kind of recipe where I don't mind doing that. This is the kind of recipe where that works perfectly because this is something that I can keep all week, use all week. We'll eat this as leftovers. We'll have sandwiches and all that sort of thing. I'll take it to work for lunch with me. This is going to work out fantastic. We are now at that moment of truth. We are now. I can smell it throughout the air. The, the whole house smells fantastic. Time to open this bad boy up and see how this 
Mississippi style pot roast turned out. Genevieve's got the camera now. She's gonna come on in here close. We're gonna take the lid off of this crock pot and see what's going on. Come on in, get on there so you can see it. Are you ready? Three, two, one. <sighs> Holy cow, you can really smell it now. Yeah. Oh man. Come on in here. Let's get in here close to what that looks like. Do you see that? Mm -mm -mm. Pretty good looking stuff. All right, we're going back out. I'm going to get a big old chunk of that stew. Big old chunk of that roast to see what it tastes like there. Oh, look at that. It does look awful good. Come on in here for a close up on that, Genevieve. And we'll come back out. How's that look? Did you get it? Did you get it, do you think? Yeah. Ready? Yep. Taste test. <laughs> Just as I was hoping it would be. It's very good, nice and tangy. Can't beat it. Goes great with the potatoes the whole bit. This is my kind of dinner. Eat this tonight. Ready to go out there and continue to enjoy Crossbow Appreciation Month. This is what Crossbow Appreciation Month tastes like. Make sure the apron is in there, the apron. All right. Get some cool B-roll on my apron. All right, that's enough of that. Is the yeah. green light on on the old camera? Are you recording the sound? Yeah. Got my sound, my, my cool voice. You can have my cool apron in there? Yeah. Okay. Ready? And tell me what. You're ready. You're recording? Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. All right. And it's bad. Just... Action. Okay. I just get excited when there's food. Okay. <laughs> Mississippi stuff. Okay. We already did that part. What am I doing that for? Genevieve's got the camera now. <laughs>